I, I, I'm struck by one thing as I reflect upon this literature, and that is the risk management thing versus the opportunity thing. And I, I think that the risk management mindset, while I understand it, I think is in the end quite a negative force in this context because I think it leads to a plausible deniability logic for uh, engaging with sustainability. It involves building uh, policy and practice architectures that are designed to provide a kind of shroud of defensibility in the event that something goes wrong. What we see in organisations that, um, that do this very effectively is a much more um, engaged, relational, uh, supportive, negotiated um, uh, approach with better communication, um, uh, improved uh, um, support and investment in uh, suppliers in respect of their capacity to um, uh, comply with the, the, the aims and wants and desires of, of lead by an organisation. Training, you know, um, suppliers um, are not necessarily uh, in the loop on, you know, what for a buy, lead buying organisation sustainability really in concrete terms implies. In other ways it's to do with things like um, uh, changing labour practices fundamentally. You know. So some of the problems um, that we see in some supply chains are to do with, for example, the uh, adverse consequences of things like piece rate payment systems. You know, mo some of the um, some of the uh, health and safety concerns that arise in supply chains are really to do with um, piece rate uh, payment systems.